Hello everybody, so welcome to today's stream. We are going to paint up Granny Smith. It is a character for a D&D session I am part of. Uh, it was unpainted yesterday. I started priming it and uh, uh, doing the magic hand here. This is a witch, draw witch. Um, color schemes are going to be brown and blacks and something spicy in the middle here. Some um, good colors there is the order so i'm going to try to apply <clears throat> those sets of colors on this mini how are you <laughs> so this is uh, how it goes i'm going to try in uh, one sitting to paint it uh just because why not so all right so we are going to just go in and go in and start painting on it and i think um uh, the order was also for having a black rat uh, so Ratus Norvegius, I think it is called when it's just black rat. Um, so, okay, I just have to go and see what was actually ordered in to do on this piece. <laughs> so, brown uh, coat, brown shoes, black hat, black rat, white hair, and something spicy on the shirt. In the middle there in the colors so we are going to the the brown coat we are going to go in and just give it a, a little coat here and see start with that and when it says black hat i think we should go with uh, a little um, like really dark blue colors on it so it's not totally black but to just give it a little bit of a that is not just uh, just black, but it's going to look black in, in, in your eyes. So yeah, how are you going uh, today? I know so, some are uh, probably on a, a, a little, uh, what you call it, get together, competition, pole lifting in uh, Finland, uh, somebody is probably sleeping now that are in chat. <laughs> so I go, probably going to be a quiet chat this one. Maybe nobody is going to watch it live. But if you are watching this afterwards, uh, yeah, please do a comment to say hello. I watched this shit. And yeah, do some comments on what you are doing and stuff like that. It's just fun to have something to interact with uh, off, offline too for me. If you want, uh, no, no pressure, but do it. <laughs> but all right. So it uh, and brown shoes. So I think we should go with um, the same kind of colors. We can go back and do different types of colors. So <clears throat> what I'm doing right now is just uh, blocking in, put, putting on colors uh, as a color reference, where where it should be, and then I can go back and and tune up the colors as as I feel like it. Uh, and, and when you are digging in on this miniature, this is a 3D printed miniature, by the way. Uh, so it's printed uh, locally. Uh, the file is found online somewhere. And I think it is uh, made by Hero Forge uh, because I see this type of rim on the cloth. And I've seen this type of rim before on a Hero Forge. It's kind of like their signature uh, look, I feel. Or what do you want to call it? So, but yeah. All right, so there is that. And then we go for the hat. And what I was thinking about when I was saying I want a little blackish, but with a blue tint on it. Um, Maybe we go something like black, black leather. It is ha having a, a little purple colors in it. Hey, Dave Dodge, dude, that sister of battle said is on pre-order sold out every, everywhere in the first eight minutes. <laughs> Holy shit, uh, that, that is amazing. You know, they, they can't, uh, they, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like printing money, probably. I think it is ha having a, 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 it's going to be bonkers. It's going to probably to be sold for 
300 plus uh, percent uh, uh, more on, on eBay <laughs> for sure. It's crazy. And then I announced yesterday for uh, old uh, uh, reviving the old uh, Warhammer thingy and Duncan uh, on his Twitter, you know, the painter, he posted today some uh, just a meme of uh, a, a, a knight and he's uh, sitting on the computer giving this A and uh, talking about chivalry and stuff like that. So, you know, I jumped to the conclusion that, that Britannia is coming back in two years time. Uh, but we will see. I don't know. Maybe it's just Warmaster coming out. Probably is. <laughs> but um, yeah. So uh, it was a black hat and a black rat. Yeah. So we're just going for something like that. And then we can mix a little a bit about the colors. So uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, that is kind of crazy. But um, yeah, I, I totally understand that uh, that could be a thing. I wanted my Theresa May sister's battle miniatures and I'm pissed off that I can't get it. Oh, yeah, I don't know. You need to uh, find uh, some back alley dealers. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Yeah, it, it's strange that I do not have enough to to give everybody a sister of battles. But uh, maybe there are some retailers that have in in their like in their stock, or is this just a online sell? I don't know. I haven't paid that much uh, attention. Because the hype is so hard that I, I don't want to get sucked into it. My my personal, I do understand why people want it. It is beautiful stuff, but yeah, I'm not gonna bite. I like it because they are Flody Ali, so they have the same, like, <laughs> uh, what do you want to call it, icons that Br Bretonians have, so therefore they, they are cool. But actually, if I wanted a Sister of Battle, I actually would uh, buy into the, the Raging Heroes line. Uh, they are just so cool. Kind of bit on the uh, like too sexy, but uh, I, I like that look. It's just cool. Something like that. <clears throat> Which colors go uh, nice with browns and blacks and are a good uh, vibrant color? <clears throat> Hmm. The Warhammer, the old world, is being headed up to the head of the team of Forge World. The old guy did promotional wheel. So I am. Don't think of that. Uh, just be the same rule set as the old. Okay. System so B. You won't be able to use all your very old Warhammer uh, fantasy uh, battle minis. They're not going to be spent three years doing a rule book. I think. I think they are doing uh, the Tarmacan. They are doing a setting. Maybe they are reviving the old uh, fantasy uh, thing they had started on, then they killed it because of end times. I hope they are reviving that bit with, uh, uh, you know, all the cool minis there, but also dropping in Bretonians for good measure. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just me wish, wish fulfilling myself into oblivion. But uh, that, that would be so cool that uh, it's, uh, uh, and I know Doak, Duncan is a really big uh, uh, Bretonian uh, fan, so here's for hoping. I think we should go green here, just to see how it feels.
and what goes good with green purples maybe so we're going to have a little purple on that one let's see Yeah, that, that could be a good thing. Then we can have the purple going up here. Yeah, I think that is going to work. But yeah, it's an interesting time to be in. Um, it's interesting that they are announcing this when uh, Kings of War 3rd edition is uh, rolled out just and have it, you know, and, and then they are announcing this. It's um, it's like, uh, hmm, why, why are you doing it like this? It feels, it feels a little bit, uh, I don't know. Riding the bus of uh, of the good moment uh, of uh, Mantic, but uh, that's okay. We will see. Early days, early days. Dave Dirge says they killed Warhammer Fantasy because Games Workshop didn't outright win the IP rights court case with the. Uh, Chapter House min uh, miniatures. Alan Merritt at the EP man at Games Workshop have had to retire because of this. And Age of Sigmar is the start, with uh, was a mess. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it was. But it's uh, it what what what's uh, really interesting for me. My first reaction when I saw this uh, yesterday, uh, people started uh, posting uh, that uh, the the square base stuff and, and all this. Uh, it was uh, really, it's so strange when they are talking so hard and so much and putting so much into Age of Sigmar now. Um, it's just really strange that they are back paddling. It feels, it feels so, um, I don't know. It's so strange. It's really strange because in one hand, on their podcasts and stuff like that, when they are interviewing and talking with people, they are praising Age of Sigmar so much. And, you know, uh, a lot of people are really good talk talking up Age of Sigmar. So it's so, so really strange that why they should uh, go back uh, when they are, you know, they are setting up this really, uh, this game, you know, and then they are like, yeah, but in two years time, we are going to do another thing with square bases. It's, uh, I don't know, it's strange. I, I think it's a little strange. It, uh, for me, it doesn't add up, but uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> It's just, uh, I don't know. I want, I don't know what to make of it. I ha I've seen Wins Venturella and, and the guys I have been talking about it. Uh, and I, I'm going to uh, watch that because they have, have a tendency to talk about it in a sober way. So, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, for my, my I, yeah, I, <laughs> I, I, I have uh, mixed feelings for sure. It feels like they are just uh, trying to win back, uh, win back uh, uh, Mantix, uh, you know, little foothold into the gender. Yeah, I think th these colors can work good. <clears throat> Let's see, Dave Dodge. Yeah, this is the defensive strategy by Games Workshop to kill the competition. Don't buy Co just yet, and I don't. Uh, I don't get ninth edition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you know, different frogs, different strokes. You know, 
so it's probably a market for everything but uh, I don't know at this point you know if, if they are coming back uh, and they are actually coming out with Britonians I am definitely going to buy that for sure but um, I don't know how many old farts like me are going to be there pay, paying for Britonians to be to be fair but uh, it's probably the sister of battle hype thing probably the same thing so it's not that big of a audience but it's big enough to make a splash so they get uh, a lot of free commercial of it I don't think that are they are actually selling that much of sister of battles they just have low quantas it's uh, it's what I'm feeling. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm just talking out of my ass. I, <laughs> it's just, everything. All information that comes from here right now is just me uh, spitting, spitting some words out into the ether, and uh, take it for what it is. It is not a prophecy or anything. It's just my kind of raw reaction to it all. And um, I actually do not feel like I understand or are smart enough to understand what uh, what the hell is going on. But it it's just uh, feels really, really peculiar and really strange and really, I don't know. It feels, uh, it feels kind of wrong that they are doing it, but uh, as they are building up uh, and all this, they're talking about the sculptors and how they really like their round bases so they can do more cool poses for the miniatures and stuff like that. And I can see that all this reasoning is really, you know, understandable. And then they are going back on it. And yeah, we are going to have square bases. <laughs> and they're like, what? I don't know. I actually do not know. Um, I, it is interesting and uh, it's really interesting to see how my Twitter feed is uh, like blowing up. Um, mo most of the things I follow on Twitter uh, and on Facebook are wargame related. And you can see how big of a thing this is for people that uh, enjoy miniatures. Uh, so, so it's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I say a lot of, I don't know, because, you know, I do not know what the hell is going on here. It's so pecu peculiar. <clears throat> so anyways, this is uh, Granny Smith. Uh, she is a witch and uh, I, um, I am painting it up for a friend. Uh, so we have painted miniatures on the table for the... the Dungeon Dragon uh, matches we have. Um, so hopefully, hopefully I can get in and play every week for, with them. That would be the gold. So it's the second game I had in a long time with for Dungeons and Dragons, and I really, I really enjoy it so far. So this hand here, magic hand, I just put on um, halide oxide. To make it look like magic, and that is what I'm going for. Um, yeah, I think the trousers are also just going to be in this color. Maybe should go with a little brown in it. Something like that. So that, that is uh, the color scheme I think I am going to use. <clears throat> Dave Dodge. Yeah, it's defensive strategy by Games Workshop to kill the competition. Uh, oh, yeah, you said it already. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, I, 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 maybe it is. It's, it's so, uh, you know. Uh, out, out there so clear that it's uh, almost embarrassing 
to to be a part of when it's that obvious you know it's not uh, it doesn't feel smart at all so it's uh, I don't know I thought the games workshop was bigger than that now with the new management A really cool, fun uh, uh, counter reaction by Mantic though, uh, making this little montage video uh, where they uh, are just saying, yeah, we don't blow up worlds, we build them. <laughs> I really like that. Yeah, I think this is uh, working great. It looks not bad. Rigsack, which colors should that be? Hmm. And a little flask on the side here. Da, 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 da. Maybe we should have that in da, da, da. orange. I might regret this. I'm going to start with orange and just see if we like it. Because you have a little um, red in the purple and in the browns and orange has is a little bit reddish in it too but also yellow. So that was why I was trying that out. So color here. Yeah, it might work. And I should uh, go in here. Getting some orange on top here. Yeah, I've blocked in the colors now, so it's uh, it representative what I am thinking, and I can take a photo and send it to him, see if he likes what the what I come up with there. So let's see. Let's see. Alright, so uh, let's see if what he thinks about it. <laughs> yeah, he thinks, uh, it seems like he likes that, so nice. Then we are just going to work in the colors a little better and give some more details here and there. And it's done. So the staff needs some colors. Dermatist hair is having to have some colors. Going to go a little wash on it and stuff like that. So yeah, we are uh, on the move. <clears throat> Has Norway ever attempted to release its own miniature battle game? I think uh, ninth edition is the closest. It is a, a work uh, laid down by Canadians and Norwegians and a lot of another a lot of other people uh, I can't pinpoint you to any exact names but because I can't remember them I know uh, a youtuber named one spitten 360 was in on the ninth edition and uh, I know that there are uh, Norwegians that are working close on it too 
but it's a it's a gr- group effort. It's a community effort made by a lot of people. Um, so I, I, besides that, I think uh, Dark uh, Age of Sigmar and uh, in question in question uh, twenty eight um, are uh, made by people that live in Norway. It's a community effort that too, so it's uh, really hard to p- put one name on it. And I know the one guy that works on it uh, uh, was working on Warcry too, but um, it's it's more of a hearsay. It's not don't don't take this for a really good value. <laughs> it's just what I remember. That I can be wrong, but uh, yeah, they are. There are probably people making games all over the world, uh, but uh, having a good splash for it, I think, uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's one one thing to make the rule set for something; it's another thing to make the actual miniatures for uh, for a thing. Uh, one thing is, you know, really. When it, when it comes to cost, you don't have to have a lot of expensive things to start writing the rules. Of course, you need to have playtesters. You need to have this and that and the other. Uh, editors, you know, people that can read through the rules, um, stuff like that. But when it comes to making miniatures, you need uh, somebody... You, you, you Probably today, you could go in and just go in Thingiverse or Etsy or something like that and uh, look up guys that are good uh, with their concept art and you know, hey, I buy your IP, your miniatures look awesome, I'm going to buy them from you. And or you, you can go, today I think you can, if you are really just wanting to make a game and see how it goes, uh, you could just write it up, put it on the internet and here is some places you can go and 3D print your miniatures, like this one. You can go to Hero Forge, you can go to Thingiverse, you can go to, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's a good spot to try out if you are a good rules maker. It's uh, really interesting. I've been trying to make some scenarios for Vineguard and you know, on before you dig into it, you feel like, yeah, it should be really easy. But, but coming up with your unique set of rules that looks really fun to play and are fun to play you know it can be really fun to play but it's really hard to um, uh, write in a good way that people understand so you have to have a a a brain that works on a different uh, levels and it's a really fun exercise but i i have to say uh, looking you know taking a step back and see what I made and stuff like that I feel like um, the more you do it the better you're going to be on it and it's less intuitive than you think when you're starting with it because you have read all the other rules Uh, so but they say also that a good uh, a a good uh, artist are coping others um, a master is balanced stealing the ideas from others and making them their own so I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see what uh, my he said. Okay, yeah, he just want to have. A, uh, it's a draw, but he says the uh, skin can be as this. I was thinking about uh, blending in and getting it a little grayer. But uh, okay, we should just try to have it like this. I'm going to let it this dry completely now. So when I start working on it again, uh, none of the colors are going to be pushed away. <clears throat> so I think that it was just fun to show you what I was working on. And another one I'm going to bring out the airbrush for is uh, this one. I don't know if you have seen this character before. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm going to try to paint it up. Um, super clean colors and just see how it goes with the airbrush so it's also 3d printed 
and but it's really uh, a really nice printed and he has filed sand it down and and used the uh, 300 and stuff like that and he, he has done a good work it it almost feels like um when you are stroking your hands on it it feels like um uh, a wood that are worked on and filed on okay anyways I think that is uh, enough for today. It's just uh, I, w I wanted to drop in and show you guys a little what I'm working on today since it wasn't any videos yesterday. Uh, really thank you Dave Dodge for con um, coming off with comments that I can respond to and uh, talk a little bit more on just <laughs> what colors I put on my miniatures. Always appreciated when I have somebody uh, in the chat talking with me uh, and I try to make uh, you know a good conversation out of it uh, hopefully it was satisfying it was for me anyways <laughs> that that went almost weird okay you know what i'm going to say now so fuck off do something else <laughs> bye